私はその今でもそうなんですがぶっかり屋さんでよく物をどこに置いたか忘れたり鍵をかけたつもりが忘れちゃったりとかして迷惑をかけてたんです Alright guys welcome back to some more Kiminako when they cried last part we had a little bit of an, uh, an ending course of uh, what happened at the dining, uh, dining uh, table at the dinner. Um, I thought we were going to keep going with the Mario puzzle puzzles, but we really didn't. We just kept on going with uh, the chopsticks that, uh, you know, Eric has, has a fetish over. Let's get over the statement I made about that last part, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and then we went to this, to this person who's still stuck in that friggin' room and can't get out. Um, and I don't know why Beth has shown us that, but there is a person stuck in there, and dude or girl, I don't know, person's trying to escape. They, you know, they try to break the window to escape the room, but uh, instead they get their ring finger chomped off. So their ring finger is gone now. So yeah, we'll see what happens to that person. And uh, moving on, um, the uh, the cousins, right? As as a you know episode special, we have this every episode. Come on, every episode, the the cousins have to stare at the um, have to stare at the at the hall at the at the portrait of Beto in the hall with Shannon or Kanon or someone or Genji. Someone's gonna be there. Or Kumasawa. Someone's gonna be there with the cousins to stare at the portrait to talk about the epitaph or about Beto herself and how she's a witch of the of, of the night of of the uh, of Rock and Jima. Uh, so just like every episode, but then to twist things this time around We get Beato as in the reborn Beato Who Batter made she, she came by thanks to Featherin allowing her to read the archives and stuff She came by and uh, some weird magic stuff happened and uh, we got the Beato from within the portrait uh, also rebirth, but I mean, she, she was born way before this Beato that we have now was born, so we have two Beatos now, and this older Beato seems to be more connected to Kinzo, while this new Beato is clearly connected to Battler and Battler's purpose, and a combination of these two Beatos is the Beato, is the Beato we get that we know, uh, that we've known for so long, so we'll see how that story goes, um, do you want to mention the Sai tattoo? in both Beato and Shannon, right? Shannon has it on her left side, Beato has it on her right side. I'm just saying, I don't know if that's a, as a that's an important connection or not, but it's a connection I want to note once again. I've noted this before, but I want to note it once again. There might be a connection between Shannon and Beato, all right? Um, otherwise, um, yeah. Those two Beatles are now hanging together, right? They're doodling around, so they're, they're, they're off on their way. And Angie, I'm sure, as the reader, is reading along. And now we're here, new chapter, with uh, Sean calling herself a clutch. So yeah, because it's raining, I'm going to have to read the last bit of sentences as we go along, because it might lag out for y'all, so I'm sorry in advance. Let's keep reading, though. <laughs> I remember how Aunt Nazi used to get mad at shit all the time. But eventually Shannon managed to overcome her for forgetfulness. How'd you do that? You know, that's big, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you took the effort to improve yourself. Very, very big. You know what? You're a very um, dedicated girl, Shannon. Uh, that's impressive that you actually went through all that effort. A lot of people will see their own faults and should be making checklists like you do but won't do it and uh, I'm not going to exclude myself from that so that is why I hold uh, respect to you for actually doing that so there you go Shannon for any, if it's lagging by the way she said that uh, uh, you know 
she's making checklists just for us not to get things because she can be careless. But she's aware that she can be careless. So she, she's taking steps to uh, go against that, and, and that, that's a very, very good action. This is what this is what makes improvement in a human being. What's up, Erica? Did you see Beatrice or didn't you? Okay. Some strange things happened. She was talking about a certain summer night. A certain summer night? It was when Shannon was doing the nightly rounds. From her perspective, it was a ghost story. From the witch's perspective, it was just a story of a little summer night prank. <coughs> okay, sunny spot. Flashback. Never mind, we're with the sisters again. Sonata wa ningen no motsu. Hammaho no doku o rikai ste oruka? Iye. Nan desu ka, o nei sama? Hmm. Majo no jidai wa moha ya toi kako. Banbutsu o shihai shita to no dama o ningen domo wa.我らの存在を否定する強い毒を持つに至ったのだ。その毒は私たちには有害なのですか？極めて危険だ。ファビレバ立ちどころに我らの姿を蒸発させてしまうだろう。しかし不幸中の幸いなことに我らの存在は未だ
すなわち我らの存在を認めさせることが人間たちから毒を失わせ再び彼らの前に降臨することもできるというわけだなるほど今の私たちは基本的に人間たちの犬間のみに存在できるわけですね魔力がまだまだ足りぬわらわたちは人影に怯え物影にこそこそと隠れる野良猫にも劣る存在というわけよ The main goal of the older sister was to gain a large supply of magical power and be revived as a great witch, strong enough to have no fear of the anti magic toxin. For that purpose, she had wandered around the mansion night after night, striving to regain her magical power and reduce the anti magic power of the humans. The powerful previous Beatrice, whom she had heard about in Feather Featherin's library, Still don't know if that's her actual name. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, for, the, for the confirmations. I, I know that by the time this is out, it'll be long confirmed, but、uh, I still have not uploaded the video where I asked that question yet. So, alright. The powerful previous Beatrice, whom she had read about in Featherin's library, had appeared openly in front of humans and had even toyed with them at will. Is this true? According to her, to her big sister, such a level of power was most impressive. お屋敷の人間たちの前に堂々と姿を現し魔法や剣族を次々に召喚できるまるで絵本の中の魔女のようですらありましたあらほで both called Beato and yes the designs are different sure but they're both called Beato but I can still tell who's talking because their voices are so distinct even though I can bet that they're voiced by the exact same person and she's just got incredible voice range Like, I know now that if you didn't show me the sprites or you didn't show me that older sister Beato's popping up, if their voice was called Be Beato, and if you had just shown me the text, there may be times where I mean, I can tell, I guess, by the tone of the text, right? By the way the text is written, that it's elder, older sister Beato talking, and that another sense is told by younger sister. But With the voice acting, it becomes clear as day, right? You know, you, it becomes so clear that you know who's talking, you know which is which. Ha! Which is which, get it? Because they're witches? Okay, fine. You didn't like that, alright, fine. So, if you are a witch, you will be able to get a little bit of 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 こうして窓の鍵を開けて回ることにどんな関係が It was the middle of the night. They were falling behind servants who were checking the locks on the doors. Oh, so maybe Shannon isn't careless. Maybe just a night, night be Beato being a prick, unlocking all the windows. Wow. They were falling behind servants who were checking the locks on the doors and windows. And、uh, undoing those locks after the servants thought they had locked them. It felt more like a child's prank than the work of a witch. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
よくわかりません。The older sister closed her eyes slightly, smiled, and opened the unlocked window a crack. Cool outside air flowed in, making the curtains flutter. Aete, ningen no doku ni mitsta iikata o shiyo. Honrai, kono shima ni ware ra wa inai. Sara ni iyo. 今この廊下には誰もいないのだなのにこうして鍵が開き窓が開くそれがどれほどの奇跡であり魔法でありそして我らが存在する証であるかわかるかそなたにもこの風の涼しさがわかるはずあります。涼しいです。風の涼しさ、柔らかさ、そしてそれになびくカーテンが髪をくすぐる感触。そのすべてが我らが確かにここに存在することを教えてくれるのだ。そして。私たちが確かに存在した証をこうして鍵を開けることで示して残せる。I feel like this was brought up in episode 4 too <clears throat> about why humans choose to keep existing, right? And、uh, I believe it was a discussion between Inja and Amakusa where they were talking, and、uh, it was either Inja or Amakusa, I don't exactly remember who said, who said this, but it's something along the lines of humans exist to just, you know, Leave behind proof that they existed. Why?、Right? That's the reason we keep living because we want to make sure that there's proof left behind that we existed. Something along those lines. It got very philosophical at some point in episode four, you know. I don't know. Now, now we're talking about、uh, witches, so I guess maybe witches are not that different either. <laughs> Gotta leave proof that they exist as well.、Hmm? Of course, it wasn't just sp- small pranks like opening a window. She could also smash windows and vases or leave behind strange fires and mysterious scrolls. In fact, one time, she actually did play a large scale prank in the kitchen. Piling up kitchenware in an eerie manner and leaving behind a bizarre scribble, which scared the servants considerably. Had been a complete success. It had been truly terrifying, and she had succeeded in making the servants acknowledge the existence of magic, weakening the anti magic toxin. However, she chose to make her presence known by unlocking windows. By doing this, she could release herself from the restrictions imposed by the human's toxin. <laughs> うん、わらわとそなたは一つの魔女となり、六軒島のすべてを支配するだろう。その時こそ、我らはすべての自由を得て、自在に羽を伸ばすことができるのだ。We have to only have one wing. The other wing is cut off, right? The one-winged eagle. Remember that? We won't have to be afraid of anyone's gaze anymore. We'll be able to fly wherever we wish, disappear whenever we want. Laugh however we like, prank however we like, talk with anyone we want to. Humans might ask things、uh, of us from time to time. They might fight with us or play with us too. What wonderful things for us frail creatures. We cannot appear before anyone to look forward to.
魔女ベアトリーチェと呼びその存在をわずかずつだが信じ始めている信じれば信じるほどその人間の半魔法の毒は失われていく。I see. So, this means that father has no anti magic toxin. <laughs> hey, yo! And that's because he truly believes in the existence of the witch I am. Without any doubt. I finally realized that. Though I'd thought him to be cold, father did possess a kindness that couldn't be seen. <laughs> Don't call me father, though. <laughs> Please stop calling me father. Call me battler. Hmm. Yagatewa.誰の前にもどうどうと姿を現すことができるだろう。それを重ね、さらに存在を信じさせ、Yagatewa魔法さえ披露し。そなたが話してくれた大魔女としてロッケン島に君臨するのだ<笑>魔女側の理屈はなかなかに面白い退屈せぬ<笑>信憑性ってあるわよねここは幽霊が出る有名な心霊スポットって脅されたら木の葉が一枚落ちたって人間は幽霊が出た出たと騒ぐわそうだ全ての現象は本来中立中性無味無色だそれを望む受け取り方をさせるにはその環境づくりが必要となるカリスマのある人物がたとえ何かを失敗しても好意的に解釈されるのと一緒よねなるほどその意味においてはベアートたちのささやかな努力は間違ったことではないわね屋敷の鍵が開いていただけなら戸締まりを忘れたかはたまた誰かのいたずらかで済む問題それが夜な夜な屋敷を魔女が徘徊しているという噂が魔女の存在を少しずつ形作っていた夜の屋敷でおかしなことが起こればそれは全て魔女の仕業とみなされる環境の成立なるほどそういう論法がまかり通るまでに至ったならそれはもはや夜の屋敷には魔女がいるのと同然を意味するわ After the Beatles finished their mischief of unlocking and opening the window, they enjoyed the coolness of the wind and the brightness of the moon, then became gold butterflies and disappeared into the darkness. Into the darkness, yeah. <laughs> There was no way of knowing whether the window they had opened had actually been opened by them. The servants might have forgotten to lock up, or one of the family might have opened it after the servants had locked up and forgotten to shut it again. Or maybe someone had played a prank. In the same way that none of these, those possibilities could be denied, it was also possible, impossible to deny the possibility that a witch really had opened the window to enjoy the night breeze. Schrodinger's cat. Kansoksha Naki Kekawa, Nugen no Kateo Mochiuru. Soreo, Tata Hitots no Kano Sedishka, Torai Rana in Ningeniwa, Nanimo Sozo Surukoto Gadekina. Shikashi. 魔女の可能性を信じられる者には魔女のいたずらを想像することができるその時今我らが見たベアトリーチェたちのいたずらの光景は
事実としてかけらに刻まれる魔法の原点の一つだわ家庭の虚色 Just a little magic. Even a mass produced stuffed animal. Mass produced stuffed animal. They're not even they're not even denying it at this point. But I mean it was said in red that Sakutara is not the only Sakutara or whatever. But I mean yeah, mass produced stuffed animal. With just a little magic, even a mass produced stuffed animal can be reborn reborn as a wonderful, unique stuffed animal filled with a mother's love. If you doubt it, it will be burnt by the anti magic toxin. If you believe it, the magic will become the truth. Magic is about belief. If we're looking at it from so the, the, the existence of Sakutar's perspective, no. No, definitely not. And you don't have to deny magic. I mean, you don't have to deny other people's magic, even if you don't believe magic exists. You know what I mean? I, I don't believe in magic, but if someone else wants to tell me that they believe in magic, they can go ahead. You know what I mean? Go ahead, believe in magic. Or believe in horoscopes. Believe in whatever else. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna stop you from believing in that. Even if I don't believe that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to control my view of the world and put it into your view as well. Right? I'm gonna accept your view of the world and that it's different from mine, you know? Because you're not harming anyone else just from seeing the world differently. As long as you don't harm anyone else, then I'm good. Right? Bad magic becomes bad magic to me when you start harming other people with your magic. That's that's when you go when that's when I go like nah alright, I don't care what you believe in, you're hurting other people, okay? So stop stop it bruh. Stop it, bro. You know what I mean. Um, but uh, you also have. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, you also have. Um, what was I trying to say? I completely forgot what I was trying to say. So let's keep reading. Jackなる魔法を退けるしかし、愛ある魔法を焼いて汚さぬことのまた人の世の愛なの。<laughs> But first you have to understand evil magic though, if you're gonna repel it, you know what I mean? Why is the evil magic happening? Why is it occurring? Why is someone letting it occur? That's another thing. <laughs> この If anything bizarre happens, it all becomes the work of the Golden Witch. Any environment in which there could be a witch is, in fact, Beatrice herself. しかし、その論法だけで1986年も戦い抜けるとは思えぬぞ。バカバカしい。そんなの。誰かが戸締まりを忘れたに決まってるじゃないですか。そ、そ。
れを言われるとそのででも一度や二度のことじゃなかったんです Because yeah, Erica is totally anti fantasy, so she's gonna be, she's gonna be full on anti,、uh, uh, anti magic toxin. Full on. So, that's why I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. 他の使用人の時にもいつも同じ窓が開いていたんだよ。So they're all fools. Go on, Erica. Shame them all. 私も母さんに夜に廊下の窓を開けっぱなしにしたことはないかって聞かれて、そんなのやってないのになんだか怒られたぜ。ちベアトリーチョもきっとお月見がしたかったんだね。うん、何度も同じ窓でそういうことがあると薄気味悪いよなそれに厨房の料理道具が積み上がってて不気味な魔法人だけの落書きがあったってのはもっとやばいだろうええ血みたいなもので不気味な魔法人が書かれていたって話でそれ以来厨房の見回りも怖がられていてその厨房の不気味な魔法人事件目撃者は誰ですかえっと私じゃないです But I'm sure you do it. 私はその多分辞めちゃった使用人の子に教えてもらったはずですその日は私の勤務日じゃなかったしつまりはそういうことです心霊スポットに尾ひれがつくようにあなたたち使用人も夜の屋敷の階段を少し面白かったりはしていませんでしたかあなたがそうして魔女が存在するかのように語りそれを伝染させているようにつまりベアトリーチェの仕業ということになってる不気味な出来事は全て何かの偶然か事故あるいは面白がって誰かが捏造した根も葉もない噂話とそう言いたいわけかそういうことですベアトリーチェなんて。存在するわけがないじゃないですか。おお、ベアトリーチェはいる。ベアトリーチェはいる。バトラさんはよくご理解されているようですね。そういう名の人間、あるいはそう自称して何かを行った特定または不特定多数の人間は存在するでしょうね。しかし私たちが期待して妄想するような黄金の魔女ベアトリーチョなんていう存在は全くにもってありえませんベアトリーチョはいるあったことあるベアトリーチョはいるその話を詳しく教えてはもらえませんかあなたはベアトリーチェのアップそして魔法を見せてもらったとでも言うんですかうんいつも会ってる四軒島に来るたびに会ってるもんそしていつも楽しい魔法を見せてくれるの Denying the existence of the witch would always have the immediate effect of infuriating Maria. However, Erika, who, who didn't know to avoid this topic, had challenged her head on. But no matter how Maria tried to smooth over the matter of Beatrice's existence, she stood no chance of defeating the ruthlessly intelligent Erika in an argument. Okay, 
George and Jessica, Jessica hurried to calm Maria down, but Maria's anger could not be settled by this point. ポケットから出しただけじゃないんですか違うの魔法だのすごいんだよ空っぽのカップの中からいっぱいのキャンディーがバキ出したんだもんへへへそりゃすげえ魔法だなそうだね確かにそれは魔法だ Eric is a kid too, to be fair. What? What just happened? Hey, what you do, Shishano? Why did some glass break? <laughs> no, you're arguing with a nine-year-old about whether magic exists or not. Erika, what you doing? What, what serious intellectual discussion are you having, bruh? ちゃんと確認したとはどういう意味ですか幸いここに今ひっくり返って中身が空っぽになったばっかりの紅茶のカップがありますしどうぞこれでその時の状況を再現してくださいませんかさあお願いしますさあ After holding the cup of black tea, which she had just overturned and was still dripping, upside down over the table, Erika slammed it down hard and slid it over to Maria. Erika's eyes glowed repulsively, like those of a snake about to snap up a frog. Uh, those... Those eyes were ice cold and had a madness in them that made one want to avert their gaze. On the other hand, Maria was glaring furiously, her whole body shaking uncontrollably in the greatest expression of anger that a human can manage. The look on her face was frightening, not at all someone, something one would expect to see on a nine-year-old girl. Bata and the others tried to get between the two and calm them down, but it was no use. The two violently pushed aside the others, and, glaring at each other from so close that their foreheads banged together, they repeatedly slammed down the upside down cup on the table. The sound of their foreheads banging together and the cup being slapped down shattered the barrier between reality and illusion. What? Oh, oh! Oh, Erica. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Erica, now you're messing with the Witch of Origins. Okay. This is a for real magic fight. All right. Nara, 
築してもらいましょうかマリアージュ・ソルシエル創立者にして現初の魔女のマリアーねっ That's the witch of origins for you a l right What? Which of origins originator of Mariage Sorcier is not worth her time? What do you mean? Maria grasped the overturned cup so tightly that it nearly cracked and slowly lifted it up. Then, from the inside, I throw your words away. Let me say, from the inside. Take everything from the inside, as many cute candies as the cup could hold poured out. <laughs> Then, from the inside, as many cute candies as the cup could hold poured out. Maria looked at Erica with a full smile, as though saying, That showed you. <laughs> これがベアトリーチェの魔法だと言うんですね。ドラノール。はい、rely on Glanor now. Let's go。四、四、ね。Wow。All right, brutal。ジョイ。はい。ベアトの魔法は誰にも否定させない。魔法なんてありえませんあなたがありもしない嘘話をしている可能性があります Bluetooth already? Dang <笑>副賞を要求ですこれに応じる場合ノックス第7条に違反です o s n o x s seventh commandment again? Let's see. The detective. Wait, it was it again? n o x s eighth was that? Okay, yeah. I don't exactly remember what n o x s seventh was. n o x s eighth was that.、Uh, evidence must be shown before to the detective to make a theory about it or something like that, right? As in, 
objective evidence has to be shown beforehand if you're going to make a theory about something. That was, I know that was the eighth one, but I don't, I don't exactly remember what the seventh was. I have written the Nox Commandments down though, so it's fine. I'll remember it when I read it again. The Commandments. How am I supposed to remember all the numbers of all the Commandments? Come on, y'all. Maria has finally used her first uh, Red Truth of the visual novel. Let's go, Maria. Red Truths, out we go. Right. Nox's third commandment prohibits hidden doors and devices that have no clues pointing towards them. However, representing foreshadowing clues that point towards the existence of said devices, Nox's eighth commandment allows them to be used. Alright, more red sheets from Maria. Alright, that's uh Nox's knife I believe was that the observer can make um can make theories about what happened, right? Right. はい。でなかったら、女装した犯人の目撃を女を見たと表記したミステリーは全て失格ってことになりますから。え、otherwise uh, mysteries with the couple is dressed up as a woman and it's written and it's written I saw a woman would all be disqualified. Wait, I don't think I fully got what Eiko said at the start here. At this, the first sentence. Otherwise, mysteries where the culprit is seen dressed up as a woman and it's written, I saw a woman would, be all, would all be disqualified. Right, because then, they, because without Box's Knife, they can't put forward their own opinions. And if they can't put forward their own opinions, then saying, I saw a woman would be disqualified because, well, you didn't see a woman, but because you, you, you thought you saw a woman, you're allowed to put forth that opinion. Is that it? I, I think I think so at least, I hope. Right, 
無駄無駄なら期待ご期待こうご期待さあここに空っぽのカップがありますよよろしいですかよろしいですねそれをこうしてテーブルに伏せますハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハのですか魔法の奇跡をどうして目撃しないんです人間はハンマホーの毒まみれだからだよいやしい人間が見てたら魔法の奇跡がかき消されちゃうだからいやしい人間が魔法を使う時には目を閉じなきゃいけない決まりなのなるほどなるほど人間の魔法に対するお作法了解しましたつまりあなたは魔法の瞬間を目撃したことは一度たりともないそういうことですね<笑>さあ出来上がりですどうぞカップを開けてみてください私がキャンディーを生み出す魔法を使いましたから魔女をバカにするお前なんかにキャンディーの魔法が使えるわけないではもしもうまくいってましたらお慰みアフターグレーリンアッエリカウッドアットモストマリスマディアスローリースチャーハンドアウトウォーシーオブトゥーンカップ There was no way that Erica, someone who made fun of witches like this, could ever use magic. There was no way that there'd ever that there'd be candy here, there. <laughs> And there, in a cute wrapper, lay a single candy. <laughs> Maria is so shocked right now. Her entire world view is, is, is uh, crashing. Erica smiled gently. A look of disbelieving shock rose in Maria's eyes, along with envy for this person who could use the same magic as Beato.
whoa, 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 whoa. What was that about deep understanding? This is this is heartless. Wow, she's going in. Sakutaro <laughs> coming in for the save. Whoa! We haven't seen you in a while, Sakutaro. How you been? How you been the last episode or two episodes? How you been, man? Let's go! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah! Who, who you calling rotten, baby? I could shoot Lanor, what's up? Muyono <laughs> Shobu, カップ it's true, both truths can exist at once. Schrodinger's cat. You can't disprove it. Erika Kyo, Omigoto des. Migoto, Maria Kyo no Majo Genso, Uchiabari Mashta. I mean. Which illusions, illusions are an attempt to make others acknowledge the existence of magic by claiming that something will be impossible without it? That is the attack used by witches. If someone can argue back and say that it will be possible without magic, the witch illusion is defeated and the witch must retreat. I mean, the witch doesn't fully die still though, right? Because now you can't disprove that the witch theory is wrong, right? Because you have multiple possibilities. The witch theory is just as correct as the uh, as the theory without using a witch. Isn't that the whole point of the brown troops? However, to be fair, the witch aims to make the witch theory the only possible theory right so if they're just by the fact that there is another possible theory makes the witch have to retreat in that sense i get it but that doesn't mean that the witch theory is impossible because again brown troops so yeah all right i can i get i get it from that pov though that the witch illusion is defeated i get it the magic that maria claimed to have seen the magic that maria claimed to have seen had the possibility of being a trick so it was unqualified to be a knowledge as magic That was only the result of this battle. It was still too early to bring the fight into the domain of denying everything else Maria believed in. The existence of Beatrice, witches, and magic.
However, battles will always end instantly when your opponent surrenders. Hercat wanted to hit Muddy with everything at once, defiling the witch and magic she believed in, and crushing it without a fragment of compassion. <laughs> How'd you hurt yourself, idiot? Erika grumpily punched the arm of Dranos that was restraining her. Ah, oh, come on now. However, that cold, hard, marble like arm just made Erika's hand hurt. <laughs> uh, who's the moron now? Uh. But it really is a pointless battle like Delano and uh, Gertrude mentioned. It is a pointless battle. I mean, really, Beato, uh, not Beato, Eric has nothing to fully gain from winning this battle other than having fun in her eyes, right? This has nothing to do with the... Uh, the game going on between her and Backer, and the way she hates Backer so much, you know, who is the game master? What does Muddy have to do with any of this, alright? She's just being an extra, she just woke up extra early to be a hater f uh, again to, to Muddy for no, for no reason. It's a pointless battle. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelia, look at her face. <laughs>。<laughs> Momentary. Alright. <laughs> you did a good job of calming her down. Erika's group turned their backs on Maria, who was still crushing down limply. However, as detectives in famous mysteries have always done in the past, Erika clapped her hands, stopped, and turned around. <laughs> Is that what real detectives do in famous mysteries? <laughs> uh, your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen? A deduction like this becomes trivial for Fruder Erika. What's up? <laughs> All it takes is the presence of an overturned cup, and a mystery like this becomes trivial for Fruder Erika. Your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, right? <laughs> At this point, we all know her catchphrase. <laughs> Erika's merciless words gouged themselves into Maria's heart once more. Erika left, leaving an evil laugh behind her. After bowing to Maria and Sakutaro, the Lanor left too. Bye bye! Gertrude and Cornelia followed suit. After that, only Maria and Sakutaro were left in the lonely cold land.
Don't let it rain. Middle of an ice cold drizzle, which had started falling at some point, Maria sobbed. Trying to at least protect her from the rain, Sakutaro used his large sleeves to cover Maria's head and stayed there by her side. Do we end things here? I think we do. Alright, um we had a big magic battle between Maria and Erika, which uh concluded. It was pointless like they mentioned, but it did conclude. Um and uh we got to see another one of the uh Another one of the topics that we saw brought up in episode 4 with Maria here and Erica's POV that we've known for a bit now. Uh, these two were bound to clash at some point, I feel like, ever since Erica's introduction in episode 5. Um, I guess last episode, the last episode, the Vision of did not focus on Maria at all or Rosa, even though they, even though, you know, they've both been char characters of heavy focus in previous episodes, episode 4 especially, right? And two, and stuff. Even three. All of the episodes, really, they've been, they've had focus. Episode five was probably the fo episode they've had the least focused. Um, so, Erica's belief, the, her entire anti-magic belief, was bound to clash with uh, Maria's witch belief, and uh, we kind of got to see a glimpse of that this episode. But ultimately, it is a pointless fight for, especially Erica. She has no reason to go into it other than to just have fun, uh, ruining Maria's dreams, like. Uh, like Delano and them were saying. So yeah. But um, we're going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this at least. As much as I enjoyed reading it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, y'all. Peace.